Today's tutorial is going to be on symbolic constants. And uh, symbolic constant is kind of like a global variable in other programming languages like C++ or C. So um, this is how you define a symbolic constant. You just put the name of it and then set it equal to something like 57 or I'll make a second symbolic constant here. Um, so you can uh, place symbolic constants in registers. So I can do a move operation. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, set a breakpoint here. Start debugging. All right, now let me go ahead and expand this window here. All right, so you see here, um, there are these junk values inside the registers, EAX, EBX register. So if I go ahead and step over, um, EAX changes to 39, EBX changes to uh, 3A. But uh, 57, uh, we put 57 into the symbolic constant. Why is this 39? Well, that's because um, 57 is the uh, decimal value and registers, they store hexadecimal values. So I could even show you here that 57 in, dec in uh, decimal is 39. Okay, so let me go ahead and stop that. Now, um, if you wanted to have 57 um, as a hexadecimal inside the uh, register, you would just put an H next to it, like that. So, or I'll show you the difference. I'll put a D as decimal. Um, it should be the same. All right, so check this out. Now it's 57 hexadecimal inside the EAX register, while uh, um, EBX remains as uh, 3A hexadecimal or 58 decimal. All I usually define my symbolic constants in the data section of the program, um, but it is possible to define them in the code section of the program. So uh, you could also redefine symbolic constants. Maybe you turn 25 years old. Oh, and then again, you don't have to put the, the D to specify as a decimal um, assembly knows by default that these numbers are decimal values. Okay, uh, so yeah, you could, you know, add the sum's age to the EBX register, for example. You could even create an array with symbolic constants. And I can make a video later on uh, discussing arrays if you'd like. So if I run this, it should work. Okay, good. It compiled. Um, it co compiled without any errors. Okay, so let's talk about what you cannot do with symbolic constants. So you can't. Um, redefine a symbolic constants uh, with instructions in any type of way. So for example, if I want to add, you know, four to uh, uh, the sun's age to make this 28, I cannot do that. 
I will get uh, errors. Uh, likewise, you know, you, you can't do a move operation. Uh, any type of instruction operation to change a symbolic constant will not work. And it doesn't matter if you change this to, you know, the sis age, a uh, sister's age. Uh, won't work either way. Uh, so yeah, once again, you cannot change a symbolic constant using any type of uh, instructions. But again, you can redefine uh, them. Like this, for example. This will work. Alright, well, thank you very much. If you would like more practice with symbolic constants, I have some source code on my website, x86assembly.com. I can leave a link in the description on uh, how to use symbolic constants in an array. So here I define seven symbolic constants. Uh, these numbers correspond to the days of the week, and I store these symbolic constants in three uh, different types of arrays. This is a dword array, a word array, and a byte array. So notice how I access the elements of an array um, differently depending if it's a dword array, a uh, word array, or byte array. So for a dword array, I uh, use plus four, plus eight, plus twelve to access the second, third, and fourth element of the array. Whereas for a word array, I use plus two, plus four, plus six, or for a byte array, plus one, plus two, plus three. And um, here for the dword array, I'm storing the first element into the ex register. Well, for a word array, I'm storing this, the first element in uh, the AX register, which is which is just half the EAX register. Um, and AL register for the byte array um, is a quarter of the EAX register. I can get into registers and arrays uh, more in depth in, in, in depth in another video. Anyways, for now, thank you for watching, and until next time.